The SR-71 Blackbird's maiden flight in 1964 initiated a distinguished career lasting over three decades. This futuristic and streamlined aircraft was officially integrated into the U.S. Air Force in 1966 and became one of the most iconic and respected planes in aviation history. Despite not being armed, the SR-71 gained a reputation as the most dreaded airplane of the Cold War due to its unparalleled speed and altitude capabilities. It could operate at greater heights and faster speeds than any other aircraft in the Soviet arsenal, making it an essential asset for intelligence-gathering missions. Even after its formal retirement from service in 1998, the SR-71 remained a remarkable feat of engineering and a testament to the creativity of its designers. Since the retirement of the SR-71, the U.S. Air Force has been striving to develop a new aircraft that can replace perfectly and even exceed its capabilities. Despite their efforts, they have yet to achieve this goal. However, in November 2013, a top aerospace and defense contractor, Lockheed Martin, unveiled the SR-72, the successor to the SR-71, also known as the Son of the Blackbird. This highly advanced aircraft will be primarily used for reconnaissance, surveillance, and intelligence gathering, just like its predecessor but will feature notable enhancements and advancements. One major upgrade is that it will be unmanned aircraft capable of remotely controlling from the ground and never acquiring a human pilot. Aside from this being a crucial advantage, the SR-72 will also make the aircraft capable of flying at much higher altitudes and speeds that would be safe for a human pilot to endure. According to Lockheed Martin, the SR-72's combined capability for unprecedented speed and extremely high altitudes would make it the ultimate aircraft for conducting surveillance and reconnaissance missions without being detected by radar or any other advanced tracking systems. Despite its impressive capabilities, the SR-72 remained in the prototype stage until the end of 2021, and it remained unclear when or if it would ever enter full production. But all of this changed last year following some sightings of an aircraft that looked just like the SR-71, sparking speculations that much-awaited SR-72 might have already reached a very advanced stage in its development. You may have heard of the SR-72, a top-secret project developed by Lockheed Martin in partnership with NASA and the U.S. military. That's why very little information is available about its state of development or when it will be officially launched. The project is anticipated to create a hypersonic spy plane that can fly up to March 6 or roughly 4,500 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, it would take just over an hour to fly from New York to Los Angeles at their speed. Well, the original Blackbird spy plane, the SR-71, was considered ahead of its time, the SR-72 will take that legacy to the next level by incorporating cutting-edge technology, including advanced propulsion systems and sensors. The SR-72 is designed to fly at an altitude of around 80,000 feet, roughly twice as high as a commercial airliner. At that altitude, the air is much thinner, which allows for faster speeds and less air resistance. However, the extreme conditions at that altitude also present various engineering challenges, such as managing the heat generated by the aircraft's skin friction. Also, the hypersonic flight envelope is a largely unexplored territory. Many unknowns remain regarding the aerodynamics and material science required for sustained hypersonic flight. The extreme temperatures and pressures at hypersonic speeds will also require new materials and structural engineering approaches. Despite these challenges, the team behind the SR-72 is optimistic about the plane's potential. With its sleek design and cutting-edge technology, the SR-72 is poised to take its place in the pantheon of legendary aircraft like the Blackbird and the Concorde, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in aviation and beyond. The SR-72 is one of the most highly anticipated aircraft in development. Its success is expected to revolutionize the aviation industry. The development of this revolutionary aircraft is being heavily influenced by the data collected during the testing of the Falcon HTV-2. The HTV-2 was an unmanned test vehicle launched by the U.S. Department of Defense in 2010. Its main objective was to collect data on hypersonic flight and remote guidance and control. During the three concentrated phases of the HTV-2's testing, the aerodynamics, aerothermal effects, and navigation control were studied extensively. According to Lockheed Martin, the results of these tests have been crucial in developing the SR-72's design, ensuring that it could withstand the extreme conditions of hypersonic flight. 
During its testing, the HTV-2 reached mind-boggling speeds of up to 13,000 miles per hour or March 20, thanks to its advanced engines and aerodynamic design. As it soared through the upper atmosphere, its outside surface temperatures exceed a scorching 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit, which was hot enough to melt steel. The success recorded during this extensive testing largely provided the confidence and knowledge needed to continue developing SR-72. And while the SR-72's development remains shrouded in secrecy with very little information about the aircraft, rumors have started circulating about the advanced and steel technology it'll be equipped with. From the concept art that has been leaked, it's clear that the SR-72 is an impressive feat of engineering. The aircraft is expected to feature a sleek and futuristic design optimized for high-speed flight. The twin air intakes mounted on underside of the fuselage provide the engine with a steady flow of air, ensuring maximum performance. Its rumored slim, low-mounted delta wing assemblies are also expected to reduce drag and improve maneuverability at high speeds. At the same time, its single vertical tail fin ensures stability during flight. Similarly, the SR-72 can fly at even higher altitudes than its predecessor. It is expected that the SR-72 will have a maximum altitude of around 100,000 feet, allowing the aircraft to perform reconnaissance missions over a much larger area, making it even more difficult to detect and track. The SR-72 features a retractable undercarriage to enable it to take off and land, which means that the aircraft can be recovered like a traditional aircraft and can be maintained and serviced on the ground like any other aircraft. However, the SR-72 is expected to spend most of its time at high altitudes flying at up to six times the speed of sound, gathering intelligence that would be impossible to obtain using conventional aircraft. The key ingredient of the SR-72's success is expected to be its power plant, turbine-based combined cycle propulsion system. The base turbine engine will provide the necessary thrust during takeoff and up to March 3 speeds. Once the aircraft reaches these speeds, the dual-mode ramjet will take over, enabling it to reach hypersonic speeds. This cutting-edge propulsion system will be aspirated through a common inlet at the front of the engine housing and exhausted through a common nozzle at the aircraft's rear. But what will set the SR-72's power plant apart will be its internal duct work, which will find channels needed to access one propulsion method. Depending on flight conditions, the aircraft can switch seamlessly between the two propulsion methods. Beyond its presented reconnaissance capabilities, the SR-72's power plant likewise opens up world of military-minded mission roles. The aircraft could be used as a missile-carrying platform with missiles developed under hypersonic flight to coincide with their delivery vehicle. This would enable the military to strike targets with unprecedented speed and accuracy, delivering a powerful blow that could turn the tide of any conflict. Its ability to launch its payload before being recognized will give the U.S. Air Force a significant advantage in combat situations. The SR-72's high-speed flight capability will also allow it to travel anywhere on the planet in a matter of minutes or within hours. This unparalleled speed will allow the U.S. Air Force to strike any global target immediately, leaving little time for an enemy to react. But it's not just the military that benefits from this technology. Lockheed Martin predicts that the SR-72's advanced technology could have a revolutionary impact on future passenger airline travel between major hubs. The SR-72's empire parallel speed could significantly reduce travel times, making long-distance trips more manageable and accessible. Lockheed Martin has stated that they expect a functional SR-72 test vehicle to be ready by 2030. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility, renowned for its cutting-edge technologies and secretive operations, has confirmed plans for the SR-72 with a fully developed prototype expected to be tested later this year. SR-72 project has accelerated. There have been reports of a technology demonstrator being spotted near the Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California. This aircraft, reportedly flanked by a pair of T-38 chase planes, is believed to be an early version of the SR-72 undergoing initial testing and evaluation. Despite the secrecy surrounding the SR-72 project, it is clear that the Skunk Works team is once again pushing the boundaries of what is possible in aerospace technology. With its hypersonic speed and versatile capabilities, the SR-72 will surely be a game-changer in aviation. But the rumors about the likely replacement of the SR-71 do not stop here. There have also been reports of the much-anticipated successor to the SR-71 being the mythical and much-speculated Aurora SR-91. 
The Aurora story has captivated aviation enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists alike for decades. Rumors about the plane's existence began to circulate in the mid-1980s with report of a fast, high-flying reconnaissance aircraft that could reach a maximum speed of up to March 6 and soar to altitudes of up to 100,000 feet. Despite the government's denial of the aircraft's existence, sightings and reports of strange, unidentifiable aircraft continue to pour in. Some witnesses claim to have seen Aurora's distinctive triangular shape and heard its thunderous sonic booms. In contrast, other reported strange lights and mysterious contrails in the sky, aside from the same speculation that the Aurora was a successor to the famed SR-71 Blackbird spy plane. Other speculations also held that the Aurora was a hypersonic aircraft powered by a revolutionary scramjet engine equipped with advanced stealth capabilities. Rumors about Aurora's advanced specifications have only added to its mystique. Some have claimed that the plane is equipped with cutting-edge scramjet technology, allowing it to achieve unprecedented speeds and altitudes. Others have suggested that the Aurora is part of a broader effort to develop hypersonic weapons capable of striking targets globally in just minutes. According to some reports, the Aurora allegedly could attain March 5 or 6, potentially making it one of the fastest aircraft ever developed. Furthermore, it was purportedly capable of flying at exceptionally high altitudes, potentially reaching up to 135,000 feet, rendering it nearly impervious to radar detection. A few sources even suggested that the Aurora was capable of space travel and could journey to the limits of the atmosphere. The precise details of the Aurora remain unknown to this day. Some specialists speculate that the plane was only a prototype or had a brief operational career before being decommissioned or succeeded by a more advanced model. On the other hand, some contend that the Aurora was not an actual aircraft but rather a front for the research and development of other classified military technologies. The legacy of the Aurora endures, regardless of whether it was ever a real aircraft, as evidence of the influence of enigma and conjecture. It's possible that someday, the actual account behind this elusive plane will be uncovered, allowing us to discover the genuine tale of one of the most significant mysteries in aviation history. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. Share all of your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.